Okay, so this question comes from Shudu Evan, who writes, but if you only make YouTube content, then what software would you use for video editing? Hey, great question. Uh, let me answer that to the best of my ability. Now, look, I tend to be kind of a software junkie, and I have auditioned many, many different video editors out there. Uh, the only one I can really think of I've not tried is um, Avid. Uh, nor have I tried some on the Linux side of things uh, because I run Linux in a virtual machine. Probably not ideal for video editing anyway. But I've, I've used a number of them. Uh, Blackmagic, uh, their Resolve 12, uh, Lightworks, Premiere, uh, Sony Vegas, just a whole slew of them. Movie Maker, iMovie. It really boils down to what you're attempting to do as a content creator. If you're simply just sitting down recording yourself and you're not using any kind of effects, you're not concerned about things like color correction or, you know, really sweetening the audio a lot, then, you know, a basic free editor is going to do just fine. Anything from Windows Movie Maker, iMovie, what have you. But I think you'll find uh, that you're going to want to really give your viewers the best experience you can, the best color, the best sound. In addition to, of course, content is king, right? But having these tools available, I think is really, really important. For me personally, uh, if all I did was focus on YouTube video content creation, I would still stick with my Final Cut Pro 10. Although I gotta tell you, I've been enjoying using uh, Sony Movie Studio, which is basically Vegas Light on the PC. For I produced my uh, Talking Microsoft series on it, and uh, I got it on sale for like 50 bucks a suite. And it's got all kinds of great sound. So Sony actually does a pretty good job. Uh, they don't get the recognition, I guess, that uh, Premiere does. But I'm not into the subscription model. But uh, for free uh, software, certainly if I was going to stick with the free route, I would look at uh, HitFilm 3 or HitFilm 3 Express, Adobe, or uh, Blackmagic Resolve 12. Although that can seem a bit intimidating. It's got some of the best color correction tools in the business. You can get either one of those editors for free. Uh, so you might go down that route. If you're going down the paid route, uh, if your budget permits, uh, Power Director is actually pretty good. Was well, didn't work out that great for me, but a lot of people love it. I'm using uh, Sony, um, as I said, the uh, Sony Movie Studio Suite here on my PC, on my Mac. Of course, on my Mac, I have iMovie, uh, but Final Cut 10 does it for me. It's really, you know what it is. It's so whatever your budget is, and it's whatever your tools enable, whatever the creativity that's within you that allow you to do the things that you want to do and, and make the best videos you possibly can. I don't think there's a, this is the one software only I would use, but if I only had to choose with one on the, again, on the Mac, I'd still stick with Final Cut Pro 10 because not only what I can do with it today, but it's got the ability as my creative, you know, abilities increase and technical skills increase. The software has the tools to, you know, keep up with that. Uh, some of these free low-end editors really cap you on what you can do, and you just can't get the, you know, whether you want to get into effects or whatever you want to do. Some of them are just so limited uh, that you outgrow them fairly quickly. So hopefully that answers your question.